Hey guys, welcome to Girl Dinner. Girl Dinner. Girl Dinner. Girl Dinner. Oh, Girl Dinner. There you have it. I want to thank you for putting all the effort in, but also I want to murder you because obviously that is all my voice. <laughs> no, it isn't. It's one track of you and five tracks of what? me. Whispering? All no, I can hear is my You can hear me. I'm like, voice. Ba, 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 girl dinner. <laughs> it's only one track of you. You wait, give me that like show you. Uh, that's you? That's me. You well, do you remember oh. recording yourself doing that? Because you did. I think that's just my natural voice. <laughs> <laughs> we should have like a $50 Patreon level where oh. I just release because we did it five times back to back. But then you don't even know this part. Remember how we did like oh, local no. recordings? Yeah. Mine didn't record only yours recorded so oh great just joking. great doing that and then after the fifth one you're like girl dinner all right it's not getting any better than that so just <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what it's Should going to sound that part like. in that's as good as it's gonna get i think we're done here <sighs> anyway i hope wow. you guys enjoyed that yeah welcome to welcome girl dinner <laughs> to girl dinner Every week, we'll be, just be talking about whatever the hell we want. That's right, because it's a girl dinner. That's right. TV, food, people, movies, whatever. And this week, we have to start with actual girl dinner. Girl dinner, to me, is female empowerment and not yes. being ashamed. Or, and it, what better time in this in this world, in this current climate, that yes. somehow just took a pretty positive turn in my opinion, for women, mm. what better time to celebrate women just going out, being ourselves, being disgusting if we want to be. Mm -hmm. We don't care. We're going to eat our girl dinner. Yeah. And it's just for us. Fuck I, everyone else. It's not for anyone Go else. find your own meal. Yeah. And don't watch me eat this. Oh, I was just going <laughs> to say, in the privacy of your own home <laughs> or wherever you choose to have your girl dinner, um... It's, it really is like one of those things that you feel like you're doing something wrong. Yeah. Ooh, I feel kind of dirty. Yeah. Like, am I, I allowed to be eating this right now for dinner by myself? Yeah. But, it, but it's only because we're adults. We can do whatever right. the fuck we want. Here's another thing is if I made a girl dinner and had other people, maybe if I had like you and Justine, some girls over, girls that I trust, sure. that might be fine. Once men are involved, or like your family, now it's not a girl dinner, and it kind of loses the cachet. And I think even if you had other girls over for girl dinner, uh, I feel like my it's natural inclination, I would have to like do it up somehow. Like, oh, cute plates. I'd make it or classy. Like, yeah. Yeah. Garnishings. Like, okay, throw some meatballs in the crock pot or something. Like, you gotta there'd have be some a backup hot, meal cold. to please everybody. I would have figured out, um, you know. Uh, dietary restrictions, but girl dinner yeah. is just for us. The, and I will say, I put out a poll on Facebook, just ask and Instagram. We we got mm. a little bit of engagement on Instagram, good for us. But uh, we got so many responses on Facebook. And first of all, all of us were on our period. I mean, I assume all our listeners have the same period cycle as you. And well, me I was on mine for like two weeks after not having it. Heavy for flow. Two months. It was great. I want to. I feel like we should add that to Brown Town because we got so many responses about cute T-shirts and hair. How to like manage our hair? So I feel yep. like if you maybe asked people like, "Hey, what's going on with this whole early menopause thing?" People will right. easily be able to help you, give you advice. Because yeah, I don't it's know. True. Um, okay. Okay. I was on my period last week. <clears throat> as all of you were, and I was reading <laughs> as through- As we all were, yes. And nothing, I mean, girl dinner is only bumped up a notch when you're on your period because now mm. everything's tasting even like better. Mm. Um, so I'm reading through all of these comments on here and it was just such a lovely, safe space. Like, and also it's not just for girls. Boys can have girl dinner. I, mean, I don't know if straight men are, can have girl dinner. No, boys have straight like every men, day fucking yeah. dinner. What more do you want? Let us have something for ourselves. But gay men can have girl right. dinner. 
Um, <laughs> you know, or, you know, if there are straight male listeners for some reason, I guess you can have girls in her. You're allowed. Yeah. But um, some of these comments were so lovely and it just made me feel so part of a community and everyone was being so supportive of each other's girl dinners. No one was judging anyone. No. Everyone was like, that sounds good. And um, in my research of all of these girl dinners, it seems like most of us in general have an absolute love for butter and cheese. Oh, Don't cheese. Two yeah. big ones. Yeah. A lot of butter. Yeah, because it's not often that you just like sit down and you're like, I'm just going to shave off a couple chunks of cheese off this block. Like, when else can you really do that? Well, now here's the thing. I was talking to Joan about this yesterday as I was mm. recording with him. And I, of course, sent that girl dinner thing to him. I sent it to several people before, before you even approved it. But he was like, I loved it. Uh, he's like, I thought it was so great. And um, I'm like, well, what's your girl dinner? Because I also send it to Nick. I got a girl dinner from Nick. Um, and I asked John what his girl dinner was. And he's like, huh? He's like, I live alone. So I don't really, I mean, every, every dinner is a girl dinner. I'm like, yeah, I guess that's true. Like, I guess I can't really, I don't really need, I do eat lots of girl dinners. But I yeah. never have to plan for a girl dinner. When I'm right. not eating alone, that's like more when I have to, when it's like a special occasion. But an actual meal. Yeah. So it probably means more to people who don't live alone, who have families, who um, often eat with other people. It you must don't be to, even yeah, sweeter. Yeah, you don't have to be conscious of everyone else's right. crap. You yeah. have to kind of plan out that girl dinner too. Like, I feel like that's even more rewarding. Um, but like, okay, I, I feel have like this. Part of girl dinner, however, is not necessarily just the food part it's what are you watching and it's a, it's where a ritual are you sitting what are you mm. wearing like the i know first... exactly where i'm sitting corner of the couch biggest comfiest sweatshirt no bra i am oh, so tired yes. I'm swimming in comfy clothes blanket even if it's hot out drop that ac I'm super tiny. Yeah. I feel like I go really tiny too because my couch has um like recliner things that come out. So that's usually how I oh I know, right? It's where I lived for yeah. um 10 weeks. Couch so. connoisseur. Couch connoisseur. But if I'm eating a girl dinner, I won't put the thing up. I'll kind of like huddle in kind of like counter, like just like halfway. And yeah. then just really scrunch up and just go hand because then you got, your plate you gotta get a base of where you're gonna place your food. That's what it is. Your knees kind of have to be up because then the plate's closer to you for when you're ultimately spilling all your disgusting. Well, atop a pillow, pillow is even better. A pillow in your lap. Pillows are great for p pillows. Are saving us left, right, and center here as girls. Yeah. Um. My first, like, my first recognition that this maybe was a, a thing that other people did was in Sex in the City. Now this is. To be fair, this is Carrie Bradshaw saying what her girl dinner was, but okay. it was, but I, I'll, I'll give it to her when I was like, oh yeah. Um, it's in an episode where she's dating Aiden and she likes to go out every night and Aiden likes to stay in and eat fried chicken in bed and like watch TV. And I'm like, that sounds like a fucking dream other than like the fried chicken in bed thing. But like, yeah, fried chicken and at home great night carrie wants to go out though and like party uh and okay. um <clears throat> she's bitching with her friends about how like when she comes home she just really wants it to just be like single girl behavior she's like you know one thing i used to love to do is i would stand and she specifically says that she likes to stand at a counter take a whole sleeve of saltine crackers and put jam on them and just stand there and eat them one by one and mm. i was like oh so that is a thing so that's my first hearing of girl dinner out in the wild how about no you? Way she's eating a whole sleeve of saltines with jam, Ooh. and that is very like. Ugh. But I it is a, that is a lot of carbs and sugar, though. Jam. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I saltines. Love, like, fruit preserve. Not on saltines though. Saltines like you get a bad box, and they're like instantly stale tasting. They just have that like musty. But saltines can easily be used in a girl's dinner. Any kind of cracker, a base. Like, I, I'm loving, sometimes I really like a disgusting kind of plain ass food. I mm. sometimes just really, like, I'll take just bread with butter and put, like, a slice of turkey over it. And for some reason, that's really good in how bland it is. But okay. saltine crackers can be a really nice base for things. I mean, I'll put nine saltines on a plate. Two okay. slices of Kraft Singles melted in the microwave. There's a girl dinner. Or um, mm. to, to really um, bump it up saltine cream cheese cucumber slice i know you love your cucumbers that's i do dinner. love my cucumber sandwiches that is kind of like a girl dinner 
Yeah. You get some like low fat dill dip. You get the pumpernickel or like their little rye breads, those little squares. Ooh, but now Cucumber, we're now salt, we're entering pepper. not girl dinner territory because the more effort you're putting in, it's becoming it's it's veering away from girl dinner. Girl dinner needs to take like oh, twenty seconds to prepare. Can okay. you pause it and then I'll leave the room and come back because I know I'm fucking broke. Yeah, absolutely. All right. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I'm back. Um, oh, I was gonna say, speaking of crackers, I agree with that. One of my favorite things probably in the last year and not every store sells them so you gotta look for them and trust me they're life-changing okay are big wheat thins it's just yeah now i noticed that you square. added wheat thins to the actual cover so i, I'm yes. like, I feel like wheat thins are one of jody's girl did it so what would you do with a wheat thin? just the the wheat thins big just okay how, how big it, are we talking the consistency it's maybe like twice this um not quite as big as like a post-it. I'd say it's like a uh, cheese it a bigger two than a inch by two inch. Oh, no, bigger than a cheese it. It's okay. just it's the perfect size. It's a little bit thinner than a traditional, barely thinner than a traditional wheat thin. And the salt amount is just enough, and you just mm. flip it over, and it's just oh, right in the mouth. Perfect, plain. It's big enough that you could dip if you wanted to melt something on it. It oh, is yeah. like one of the most perfect snack foods. It's delicious. Do not look at the back. I mean, you're easily going to eat like an entire box if you wanted to. Right. They're so fucking good. Uh, yeah. Wheat thins I would never like. I just didn't really grow up with uh, wheat. I don't really like a flavored cracker so much. I almost feel like I want the base to be really oh, it's bland plain. so that all the flavor. Yeah, but there's still like more flavor on that. I also don't like a Ritz cracker. Oh, too no, much flavor I don't like coming Ritz at either. Me. It's too um, flaky. It is flaky. And I feel like you can't add any, like you can't put cheese on a Ritz cracker. I mean, I guess you can. It'd probably be really good. No, but it's too buttery. Dare I say it's too buttery. It is very buttery. Um, The size does matter because the Doughboys talk about this too, where they talk about um what the best um like a form of a Reese peanut butter cup is. Is it like the egg or is it the Christmas mm. tree? Like the shape yeah. and size do matter. How it The pumpkin is pretty good. The pumpkin's good. How it sits in your mouth when you take a bite. Yes. Yeah. Oh, nothing better. I agree. Um, well, one of my my girl dinners was big wheat thins. Mm -hmm. And then on the same, I get like a, a little, well, it doesn't matter really the size plate, but okay, handful of big wheat thins, right? And then I do, like, I'll, I'll just slice up some cheese, but like from a block, now, are, when you put the wheat thins on the plate, are you kind of spreading them out so they're flat no. or is it like a pile? Nope. Okay. Nope. Okay. So it's like a fifth. Okay. Then cheese. And I can do the cheese on its own or on top of a wheat thin. Depends how I feel for that bite. Then I also have a, a Oh, so a it's wedge. not melted cheese. No, no. Oh, interesting. Okay. I like a pepper jack, mm -hmm. a sharp cheddar. Oh, I love then an I old also sharp cheddar. Do a, a pie wedge of um, a handful of just dry, um, unsalted almonds. Just all right. Have a little health there. I also <laughs> enjoy dried fruit. Really okay. like from Costco. They have like these dried cherries. I mean, it's all sugar. This is not healthy, obviously. Um, or like some craisins. Really enjoy that dry fruit. That that kind of bitterness. Um, and a then tart. if if I have it around, maybe some slices of salami that I can fold up into a triangle atop a giant wheat thin. Oh, oh stack it up. I love a stack. Yeah. Now, I want to talk about cheese really quick. <laughs> um, no, Go there on. Is, there's such a difference between also just a melty cheese, like how mm. you're taking your cheese, because melting cheese, totally different than just yeah. um, that. But also, you throw in a craft single. That's a totally different. Sometimes you want to craft single. See, this is all new to me because I didn't grow up with craft singles. Uh, now, one of, I think this probably spoke to a lot of fat kids as uh, in the, our age. Uh, there's an episode of The Simpsons where Homer gets up in the middle of the night and he just eats 64 slices of American cheese. Ugh. And it's just him. You can hear, like, the ASMR of it is just him peeling it and him going, oh, oh. And it's mm -hmm. just, it makes you want the craft single so bad. Sometimes you just want a craft single. You want you want mm. that processed, like a slight. I I I'll take a slice of processed turkey over an actual piece of turkey. Oh yeah, 
but like a honey, honey roasted mm, turkey. Just a slab. But oh no, no. I like my lunch meats like sliced thin. Oh no, that's what I mean. Oh okay, but like I I like it. I always say like um, just above where like just before it falls apart. So not shaved, but just before that. Oh, like agreed. Thin. Yeah, no, for sure. I love it. And, and you know what? It's tricky to find the right deli slicer who can do it. Because I like think a... it's thin, not thin enough. No, I like thin, but then like when when a deli when they'll make a sandwich and it all it's all know what you're thin saying. and it's all Curly. curled up in there. Yep. Oh, you can't go flat. What are you, a fucking monster? No. Yeah, that's totally. Like when I make an omelet, it's very different to just stack um, egg, cheese, and like ham than mm. when you cut up the pieces of ham or turkey and put it and like mix it all up in there. It's a completely different consistency. Yeah. Um, okay. So what about um, any noodle dishes? That you enjoy well, for Clinton? now. Listen, as a Canadian, our girl, our girl dinner is obviously craft dinner, cut up, uh, cut up hot dogs, and the, again, the hot dog thing. I, I figured out that it's one and a half hot dogs cut with the perfect thickness. Then you okay. fry them, and then oh. you add them right before you add the milk, which is last. That's oh. my craft dinner. I figured out the perfect craft dinner recipe for me. This is for me. So, okay, so you boil your noodles, dump the water, but put like it back in the, the pot. But, like, the second they are soft. Yeah. That, that, oh, it's over. you can't like, go. You can't go too soft. It is making, a danger. However, cheese. if you get the craft Dinner that are, like, the shapes, like ABCs or something, I want those almost Totally overcooked. different. I want those really overcooked. Um, I just want to rest. But, anyway, the craft Dinner, like, craft Dinner, craft Dinner, noodles are almost still hard. But not hard. Okay. Perfect. Then yep. you you strain them and then you put them back in then you take so much butter you're not looking at the box at this point for oh uh, wow see i differ no bunch of butter and the um Jeez. the mix mix that up first and now it's this thick cheesy buttery consistency mm -hmm. then you add just a little milk like just a because yeah. once you pour too much oh, milk you in there too mi you're fucked no, it's over you're fucked it's over. Yep. but then i'll add the wieners in Mix them up, then the milk. Oh, and it's, okay. Mm. That was never a thing for me growing up, like mac and cheese. Really, mac and cheese wasn't a big thing in our house. I don't know why um, it's a thing in Canada, but like on, if you go to the grocery store, it'll be like, you know, uh, salad dressings, oils, vinegars, and then it'll say craft dinner. Like that, it will, oh, it'll, it'll, it'll name where the craft nice. dinner is. That's nice. It's a big deal. Very popular. A big deal. Um, I was going to say noodles. So spaghetti noodles. It's got to be oh, spaghetti okay. noodles. Um, obviously, broke it in half, throw it in the pot. Sure, yeah. We don't have time to be like getting shit flung all over the place. Okay. No, no, like no. quickest. Cut it in half. Easy. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and my dad used to do this. And I picked this up like sometime in high school. Spaghetti noodles, strain it. Spaghetti noodles are still like warm. Yeah. Um, you put them in like a, I don't know, like a big bowl or like a square Pyrex dish or whatever. And then you take, this is like so gross. You take like low-cal or fat-free Italian salad dressing. Oh, That's yeah. cold from the fridge. Splurt that on top. And then a bunch of cheap uh, Parmesan cheese, just like, you know, your craft or your whatever. Oh yeah. Mix it up. And it's, it's not, and it's like temperature is like warm. Yeah. But sometimes, but sometimes it, a lukewarm and works. it's super vinegary and like, like my mouth is watering thing, but it's like somehow disgusting, but delicious. Yeah. A lot of the girl dinners that have been said in, we're going to read them all, but a lot of people are digging the buttered noodles and like noodles there, there is a specific, like, cause sometimes I like to put, um, I I'll put sauce on there, but like, sometimes you just want buttered ass noodles with Parmesan cheese. See, that's never me. I, but again, oh, I think it's because so I never good. grew up on just yeah. like if, if my mom was making noodles, you were putting marinara sauce on it. There was no option of like no oh, sauce. A buttered, but also growing up Ukrainian and Polish, I feel like buttered noodles is such a thing. Butter is a really big thing. And onions. Yeah, we never had butter in the house. It was like margarine or okay, like, well, that's, I can't believe it's us, not but... butter, country crock, generic. But there's tons of it in uh, Ukrainian and Polish cooking. Yeah, anyway, that's, 
Okay. A buttered noodle is real nice. And also, once you're adding the Parmesan, shaved Parmesan doesn't hit quite as good as the, like, powdered Oh, like the expensive Parmesan. stuff? No. No, 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 no. I want I think powdered because the smaller, ass. yeah, the powder, like, it's it's smaller grains, so it's getting on every bite. It's yeah. more equally distributed. And it kind of gives it a chalky consistency, which for some it's reason forgiving. works. It's forgiving. It can soak up as something is over-sauced. Oh, hell yeah. It soaks it up. So really good. Really a, a hidden hero in the food world. Um, another another girl yeah. dinner I think is just, now I know you don't love this, but me and Nick do, is leftovers in general because oh, it's a totally different not a meal. Leftover person. Oh, oh not a leftover person just, at all. Well, I love it. Another like, girl dinner. Repurposed or just reheated? You can repurpose things because craft dinner the next day, which let's be honest, very rarely no. am I saving a box. Craft dinner. Let's can we just normalize making a box of craft dinner a serving, please? But um yes, those noodles but, are pretty small, babe. They are small. Come on. Mm. Um, but like if you like the next day, it's all like congealed in, and then you heat all then I'll put it in the microwave and heat it up to within an inch of its life, like overcook okay. it. So it's like really hot. And now the noodles are like almost burnt. Now it's a totally different consistency. And then I'll melt more <sighs> butter on after I take it out, salt and pepper. Yeah, I don't know why. Just leftovers gross me out, and I think it's because I grew up on leftovers that probably should have been. Thrown yeah, away. I just ugh, how they look in the fridge, and ugh, I can't stand it. Another gross thing I'll do is like if I buy um, like chicken strips or chicken nuggets, like frozen. Okay, I prefer to just put them in the microwave for like six minutes so that they're all oh. they're kind of wet. And like just really like gross. I know what you're talking about. As yeah. opposed to an air fryer, because then it's like too crunchy, and I I want that gummy consistency. And then I then I mix uh, barbecue sauce and ranch together, and that's my. Oh, that's okay. That's very that girl dinnery. Yeah, <laughs> it's very girl dinner. Now you're gonna hate me. Kind of want this. that later. Okay, you're gonna say a salad of some kind. I am. <laughs> say like. I, just, I had a salad a yesterday and it was salad. really good. Yeah. A big ass. Like I'm talking like the whole bag of salad. Dump that like American. I'm talking iceberg slivers of carrots in there. Like zero nutritional value. Dump that in a bowl. Um, maybe like a, uh, a Newman's own balsamic dressing. Okay. Shredded cheese, like shredded cheddar cheese. See, I find um, that disgusting. Tomatoes croutons oh, you croutons, got some yeah. bacon oh yeah i like, just started buying croutons I'm like two that months down. ago i've never bought them in my life just because we grew up in the, we grew up in like the atkins low carb oh, like yeah. so no, you croutons just were for rich people thing. and they were for rich people uh yeah we never really had croutons in my house either um but yeah cr croutons are a game changer oh yeah like, it's oh, yeah. just, oh, it's so good. And it Something, takes a long time to kind of eat it. And I'm watching my housewives just. Oh, 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 I love oh, that. Yeah, delicious. foods that take a while to eat are great, too. Yes. And then the salad, it's like, well, it was a free meal because obviously it was healthy. So, like, yeah. that didn't even count as a meal that day. Even though the salad dressing, like, when you look, it's like, um, oh. you know, whatever, 100 calories for a teaspoon. There's, like, half a bottle on there. <laughs> Yeah, I have a blue cheese right now, but it's so good. I don't even know what the brand is. It, Lighthouse, maybe, is what it's called, which is crazy. Ooh, um, where you, like, you get it by the vegetables. It's, like, refrigerated. It's, yes, and it you it, it has a, a screw Ooh, a top. Jar. It's like a jar. Yeah, wow. and it's 160 calories for, a, I think it's two teaspoons. And also, oh, the nice please. thing with salad dressing is when you're pouring it in, you're not measuring it. So even if you're putting a big glob, you're like, that was probably one tablespoon. Like two tablespoons. So oh, yep. max. Okay, yeah. now question about your salads. Do you, um, or even if you order a salad somewhere and they bring it to you, do you mix it all up? Or do you just like go at it like, oh, I'm going to take something from the top layer the bottom I don't know. I feel like salad is difficult because sometimes they're really hard to manage. So I do like oh, I like very it difficult. And I Same. like it. Yeah. I like, like to mix it all. I want everything equally distributed. So every yeah. I take equal opportunity for a crouton, dressing. 100%. I want it all mixed up. Sometimes don't you don't – sometimes like, I'll, I'll uh, jump I'll, – I'll kick it up a notch and just put – I'll take. I'll make like a Caesar salad for myself. I'll, I'll make some bacon, put that in there. And then yes. I'll just put it in a wrap. 
Oh. In a nice big wrap. And now it's a, it's a Caesar wrap. And now everything's all together and you're you're getting a nice big bite and then you're adding more mm. bread, which what would be better. Ah, who cares? I mean, I you thought need some carbs for living. It's good for brain function. It, it fuel. Food is fuel, mm. Jody. Um, it is. I, I thought of one more girl dinner the other day, and this isn't really a dinner. This is just something weird. And then I looked it up on Reddit, and a couple other people had posted about this, but this, for some reason, is something from my childhood, like going to like the local babysitter after school where there was like seven of us that would go every day. And for some reason, this is what it reminded me of. But I, the other day I was eating, I bought a box of chocolate chunk cookies. Um, I'm Ooh. getting into cookies lately. And I, um, my drink now is just like a uh, diet cranberry juice. Ooh, yum. I'll put like a little bit and then just the rest is water. I just want yes. a little flavor in my water. All right. To ca- yes. Calm down. I did the same thing. Or like a splash little cranberry of, juice. Um, not from concentrate pomegranate juice or something. Pa- yeah. Or like even apple juice I'll throw in there. Just I like a really watered mm. down thing. Yep. But I was eating a cookie the other day with that. And it reminded me that like that was like a, a like an after school snack was just like juice and chocolate chip cookies. And like oh. if you dip the cookie in the juice, like Kool-Aid. It's like yeah. pretty satisfying. Really? It's not going to be sh- it's not going to be a shocking flavor for you either because you'll be used to eating yeah. cookies with Kool-Aid when you were a kid. But like if you just dunk that cookie in there oh, I just for a second that as a kid. Try it. You can still try it, Jody. You're an adult. You are a free woman. That is a weird thing that I there are just times I'll be like, I'm an adult. I can do what I want because I, I'm an adult. Yeah. I'm not breaking any damn laws. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, those. Okay. Really quick. My last two girls dinners, both are grocery store bought. But like, if I'm like, I'm going to be home alone. I love a grocery store salad bar. I love it. You get like a really good, like a little pasta salad and then like oh, whole yeah. foods. I mean, it ends up being like a I was just going to say, you salad. go up there it's and disgusting. it's Disgusting. Usually in the double digits. Yeah, it's yeah. so like, oh my God, I can't believe what I'm doing. Um, but I also love grocery store sushi. Not like sashimi, but like a yeah. California roll or like like something that's cooked. Love that. Because Get my, the thing with my girls in there is getting like mm. a nice big bite in your mouth. And sushi is such a perfect bite. Fills your whole mouth up and it's carby. Yeah. And it's Obviously, and really, you're, looking, you're like, I get 12 of these or eight of these. Yeah. Like, it's, oh, it's very satisfying. And it okay, is so, kind of healthy. Like, there isn't anything yeah, really processed in it. So, exactly. eat your sushi. So, should we go through some of our Facebook girl dinners? Or yeah. Well, what, what do you want to put up the Instagram one since you did upload it? Sure. Let's go through that. I hope okay. everyone's okay with us saying they're at least their first names. And this is actually uh, just on screen names on Instagram here, but um, I'll pull up Facebook on just my computer. If you do, you want to go through these? Absolutely. Instagrams? Okay, so we have um, we have um, almost funny says chips and dip. That's a great one, like French onion dip, which I think someone else oh, mentions yeah. too. Uh, berries, look at you, so skinny, so tiny, so string tiny. Cheese and a glass or two of wine. String cheese does freaking slap. Like sometimes just like string cheese or oh, yeah. it's the spot or like a Slim Jim. Um, let's see. R D uh, B. Wait, okay. Well, I have a question about oh. the dip now already. Yeah. Now I feel like a dip, a store-bought dip is not slapping as much as um, French onion Homemade. powder mixed with sour cream. It's a different control. type. I'd say whatever yeah. you're in the mood for. I well, I do never, sometimes. Like I didn't know that store bought dip existed until I was in like college. Yeah, like, oh, oh you don't same. just make this yourself. Yeah, yeah, cheap. exactly. Same. Uh, okay, green apple slices, each with a smear of peanut butter and potato chips stuck on top. That now, is I do such love a girl, apples good girl with dip. peanut butter. Yeah, I love that. I don't know about a potato chip stuck on top, but maybe like one hundred percent with that because it's that salt with the sweet. Oh, hell well, yeah. see, that's the problem that I have where I'm like, okay, I had something like salty. Now I have a little bit of a sweet tooth, but then I'm like, oh, you separate. I, like I need to cap taste. that back with a like savory no. and then I need to go back to a sweet and that's like a whole. And I oh. like this because it is kind of, 
it, it there's there's a, there is a little shame level to this yep. just in the fact that you've created this kind of weird looking thing. Yep. So that's what kind of pumps up the girl dinner on this one is that now there's a potato chip just kind of on top yeah. here that you wouldn't dare like show eat this. I, on I like love a like a, a kettle cooked or like a crunchers barbecue or jalapeno. Mm. I like that where it hurts your mouth. Yeah. Um, Annalise says rotisserie chicken, no plate. So many people said that. Like in the Facebook comments, somebody said- Rotisserie chicken is good, but it gets too like <gasps> sinewy, tendony for me. Oh, okay. Well, I'll save, I'll, I get rotisserie chickens all the time. And it's just, you take it home, you're st standing. Rotisserie chicken, I feel, is a okay. standing meal. Um, and you're just like rip it. People are saying, I use my hands and no shame. That's one of the ones we're going to read on Facebook. And yeah, that is, that's the first part of a rotisserie chicken is that it's still hot. Everything's still all wet in there mm. and like sugary. It smells amazing. Just, oh my God. And you're just peeling it and it's just juicy and <laughs> disgusting. And you're just eating with your hands, peeling the skin <laughs> off. Now you put it back in the fridge. And now later, now it's a whole other thing. Now I can use this. I can, I, I can make a chicken salad with this chicken. Then day three i'm cutting it up and putting it in walter's food see Hopper. you're so good like you will keep up on that stuff and i'm just like not good with leftovers i know i've told this story before but when i was teaching there was this music teacher and she was probably 70 some years old needed to retire and she was just kind of like different you know um, music teacher and i remember one day i looked at my teammate who was probably like in her 40s at the time and i just looked at her and she's like I can't eat in here, eat in here anymore. She's still picking out that chicken. Like she had this same rotisserie chicken in the fridge for like three weeks and she would just take oh. it out at lunch and just pick at it. My dad does and that. Just, <laughs> all, oh, every time I go to his oh house, just rarely there's a rotisserie chicken in there. Just like pulled, oh, yanked God. apart. It's just, just days decimated. and days of picking But a it. lot of people are loving the rotisserie chicken. And I will say, I, I think it's a standing meal. The first, okay. the first few bites, the, 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 you, you're, I don't, I can't imagine sitting with, cause what are you doing? Cutting out piece, like nice pieces. No, you're just yeah, are you sitting at a it. table. No, you're going I mean, right into I it. I guess we should say girl dinners have to be like eaten seated in a sofa or chair, right? Well, but standing, I think, creates a girl's standing, dinner, Standing, sure. Okay, standing will allow it. Also, the uh, standing part of it informs the idea that this isn't the end of the meal. Oh, it's a snack. Yeah, this you're is tasting. a snack before your se seating is the meal. Standing you're, you're, is the appetite. You're tasting. You're tasting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jen <laughs> says, another fried egg and cheese on toast and some sour patch watermelons yeah. sour patch watermelons sound incredible right now but this is like cooking for me fried egg and cheese on toast that sounds delicious but it, that, that's too much work for me no that's good though fried egg on and cheese on to yeah that's I mean, yeah, I feel like that's about as much work as you can put into a girl dinner, just like yeah, five minutes or less. Fried eggs easy, sour patch worms. Especially if you if you if you're not trying to if you if you're okay to break the yolk, even easier. But I love adding in the sour patch watermelons because it's kind of just random. Yeah. The more random, the better. Yep. Coffee and mini eggs says Christine Brown. Christine Brown vibes with this bowl. I like it. Breakfast foods now. Bowl of cereal. You know how I feel about Honey Bunches of Oats. You had that lifetime supply or whatever, one year supply. <laughs> year supply, um, yeah. A Raisin Bran, a Raisin Bran Crunch, maybe even a Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh, so, but that's so dangerous. I don't even let myself buy that. But I'll do a cornflake mm. and then put like a whole packet of sweetener on it. Like oh, sweet and low. Oh, that's decadent. Oh my god! It's so, and then it's kind of like disgust. I love Crispix. Is one of my favorite cereals. Oh, I like to have but, um, again with sweetener. Some kind of like granola bit to it, which is why I like the the raisin bran. I like the. I feel like I'm getting a lot more bang for my buck if there's a variety of flake or grain. Sure. I uh, cereal is the only instance where I will eat a banana other than a peanut butter and banana sandwich. I would never just eat a banana by itself. I think it's gross. Oh yeah. Bananas and milk with like Cheerios, ice cold. It's cold. Really it's good. like a cold yeah. banana. That's good. Yeah. Um, yeah breakfast uh, food. I love a, like I love a breakfast uh, eggs Benedict. I could eat any time of day. That's, I'm, I'm always craving an eggs Benedict. You can always assume I'm craving eggs Benedict. This is another really good one. Um, yes. Jordan says ice cold white wine, cold cuts and chips. Oh, I mean, yes. That's. I mean, once you're adding perfection. wine in there, 
Yeah. God bless you all. Ice cold white wine. I do kind of miss that. Um, okay. So what you got for us? Why don't you pull up the Facebook, Facebook too? We can always take turns because there's yeah. like over 50 comments. But um, the first one I'm going to start with is from Andy. She's been with us for years and years. We love Andy. And she's the one that got the most feedback on her own because she really put herself okay. out there. And she says, so this is really gross, but I think this is a safe space. So I'll admit to it. And then she goes on to basically give uh, what would be considered healthy in 1998 because it's full Atkins. Okay. I get either pepperoni or salami and I smack them on a plate, dump a bunch of cheese on them and melt it in the microwave. I feel like a pig anytime I do it, but holy fuck, it's delicious. It has six likes and like hearts and stuff. Krista says, that sounds delicious. Holly says, that's not gross. Jenna says, that's a low carb and healthy by today's standards. And Mary says, it's yep. keto, baby. Yep. A lot of keto snacks with that. Um, so I'm going to kind of go down some of these. Christina says mine is either wavy, no salt chips with hell of a ranch, French onion dip or salad with rotisserie chicken and Mexicali dip. All of those sound amazing. I think I sent you a TikTok, didn't I? Of different French onion dips. Yeah. You sent that of twice like, and brought it up won? twice. I think you're really oh. into that. French. And then you put it, you put French onion dip on our, on our cover yeah. for girl dinner. Got French onion like in my mind. Next time you come to my house, I'm having French onion. We'll do a French <sighs> onion. I feel like for, oh, you know what geez. we should do Jody for girl dinner for like one of these is do like a taste test of something, or we could just do that every week. Yes. Of something like different kombuchas, different. Totally. Cookies. Mocktails. So our brands that we have to that you know, we have to worry about our branding being different, but we can figure mm. that out. We'll figure it out. Taste test, yeah. But um, um uh, okay, no, your turn. My 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 <laughs> turn. Erica Hensel, who has a Surreality Pod, great podcast. Uh, she's a, oh, here we go. Buttered noodles with whatever frozen breaded chicken I have with some sprinkled mm. cheese on top. Boom. I go with the cheese. Casey replied to that butter cheese. noodles with Parmesan. Yep. See, butter noodles is a, a thing. And mm. um, then Casey, for her own, is going to be tortillas warmed up with butter. That's, That's an interesting one. Like, that is very latchkey kid after school. Mm -hmm. What do you have? Like, ours used to be, um, like, let the super cheap lenders bagels or like an Aldi bagel, just plain, because it's all my mom will buy. And then shredded cheese on top, microwave. And well, it was yeah, almost well, like gummy, like the, the texture of the bagel is awful. Sometimes gummy is yummy. Uh, Jenna responded to Casey and says, we used to do tortillas, cheddar cheese and microwave it. That's an easy, oh, yeah. that's like Quesadilla. my like, that's like my right before bed. Like I just want something else in my stomach. It'll mm. be open quesadilla. Ch a single slice of Swiss cheese, one slice Swiss. of thin ass turkey, and then I'll put spinach on top because I'm so skinny. Yeah, and then hot sauce afterward. Roll it up and just like, microwaved it. Microwave, microwave or no? Microwave, oh, yeah. Okay. And then the then the the spinach kind of melts into it, and it's healthy. Okay. And it's so tiny. It's so tiny. You don't even remember. It, it's nothing. It's, it's Minus. Rochelle, Rochelle, Rochelle uh, <laughs> says popcorn with melted butter, yum. Mm -hmm. Sour Patch Kids sprinkled on top. Fuck that yeah. sounds amazing. And well, I'm read not this even next a big part. popcorn person. And a glass of pineapple rum with pineapple juice to drink. Oh, uh, and good. then she also says she's done M&Ms or Skittles. <sighs> that sounds amazing. Yeah. Like uh, that sour well, kick. Krista said that made my mouth water. And then Rachel went ahead. Is Rachel also who we picked for TRP this week? Oh, was it Rachel? I said Rochelle. Oh, prob maybe. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. Honey, that we was were, like, re honey, we recorded a lot today, girlfriend. Girl. Uh, yeah, and then Rachel, Rochelle, uh, posted a picture. She showed her work. She posted a picture of the fucking melted the butter. The sheer volume uh, popcorn. of Sour Patch Kids we go through in a week. That Rebecca says a big ball of burrata with a spoonful of Trader Joe's Italian bomba sauce. That's classy because it's Trader Joe's. That sounds amazing. Yeah, that's real classy. That is a really good girl dinner. Like, I'm going to go to Trader Joe's. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get myself something fun. You're working for it. Beaker Face responded life. to that and said, have you tried TJ's Stragitella yet? It's a burrata filling. I keep hearing Ooh. it's amazing. And um, 
Sharita, we love Sharita too. All these be- longtime yes. listeners, I love it. Everyone's getting together I here. Sharita says cheese. Oh wait, <laughs> I I always read this wrong. I keep reading this as cheese. It's with cream cheese, but she's saying cheese it's with cream cheese. Yes, I know exactly which one you're talking about. Yep, yeah, cheese is a theme here. Joanne, dried cherries, yum. Uh, popcorn with cinnamon and sugar and string cheese. Dinner of champions. I like that. You got a mix of like salty, sweet, kind of that bitter, sweet of the dried cherry. I like all of that. Uh, a, a roomy. I don't know if I'm saying that right, um, but um, she's a top contributor. She says, and it, no, I love this. An entire box of chocolate chip granola bars. I love that I she spe- do that. specified. No, I'm doing an entire box of this and I'm not ashamed to say it. Yeah. Some of those chewy chocolate chip granola bars are really good. And oh, it's yeah. some edible nights where I'm like, oh, those are fucking delicious. Well, because when you're on an edible, it's you want the flavor, yes, but it is. You're going after the sheer volume. Yes. That's what, you're, that's what you want. Yes. You yes. want just so much of it. Yeah, we've eaten a lot of cereal lately in the sheer volume category of edible eating. Hell yeah. Lots that's a cereal. perfect that's a perfect edible or stoned um yeah. snack is is cereal because you can eat so much of it. Yeah, frosted mini wheats are really those are we're going damn good. frosted mini wheats like water here. <gasps> and that, that um, helps you poop really easy yeah. too. Oh yeah. So I've it been, cancels yeah. itself out. Right. Jen says popcorn popped in coconut oil. Yum. Peanut butter healthy. topped wheat thins. Yum. And apple slices. Pinot Grigio and ice in the summer. Yeah. I'm liking where all this is going. Kelly Winkler says dill pickles. That's another good one, too, because you can kind of work on it. That's another thing I'm not eating in front of anyone else, by the way. I like, like cold, like, like Clawson refrigerated section. Pickles. All right. Now I'm eating my pickles sandwich with peanut slices. butter sandwich. But are you like if you had a whole big pickle, are you like getting nasty with that thing? Because I, I don't really, really like a full pickle. Oh. You like, got to bite like the, the head off and then slices. you suck. You suck it. You suck it till it's just like it's just an old. It just looks disgusting. It looks like an old vagina by the end. And then you, Ew, then you can no, stick your like tongue that. right into the middle of it. You can feel the nope. seeds. Nope, don't like that. Gross. She's working on a pickle one day. It's like it's it's fascinating, and it takes a long time too. So it it like it, it stretches out the time between meals. Oh, all right. Hello. Yeah, I'm just like oh. thinking about that. I'm like, <laughs> mm, I would have to follow the pickle with something shortly thereafter. Oh, of course, it's not. That's not the meal. That's oh, what I'm okay. saying. It's a okay. sta- it's, a pickle is another standing meal. Okay. Okay. Got it. Who else? Yeah. Cat Van G, craft dinner, not Canadian, but I can't stop calling it that because of Amanda. Um, buttered mm-hmm. noodles or a huge bowl of buttered instant rice. That's another good one. Another fun thing, guys, with rice is if you put a bunch of butter in it and then add a little bit of lemon juice in there. Oh, that would be nice. That's nice. You got to hit May- that acid. And then she says maybe some red pepper flakes if I'm feeling sassy. Oh, red pepper flakes can go a long way. Yeah. Um, Olive some- oil, red pepper flakes, Parmesan. Okay. That's a great one. Sometimes I make toaster oven English muffin pizzas like I'm nine years old. Okay, Hell classic. Yeah. Classic. Mm-hmm. Sharita also says Brussels sprouts wrapped in bacon. The whole oh. bag, the whole pack of bacon. It's cooked, no bacon fingers over here. Brussels sprouts are another one that They're like, yes, it's healthy, but man, like, yeah, you get a whole fucking sheet pan of Brussels sprouts, balsamic, like a, a you gotta drizzle. get the sugar on there oh, yeah yum a raw brussels sprout can be good too if you're dipping it in like ranch or like that great blue cheese jar of mine or a hummus hummus like i feel i add a lot to uh, girl dinners i'll put hummus on top mm. of eggs with salsa on top of the hummus and then hot sauce on top of all that <laughs> Don't like that uh do you have any more i have a whole bunch here are you looking okay, as well let's go. yeah go for it Okay. Uh, Christy says, I eat it every night. This one seems healthy, but I'll give it to you. Uh, Quest S'mores protein bar, Dan and Light and Fit Greek yogurt, caramel apple pie with a hundred calorie bag of emerald, almond, and walnuts mixed in and baby carrots. Now, this has all been healthy, Christy, but I like that you're putting it all (laughs) together. So at least the sheer volume is making this. I um, like the adding to the yogurt. 
Because mm-hmm. yogurt, you really can like doctor that up. I like putting like granola or slivered almonds or like chia seeds or something like that in your yogurt. It really like, you know, you get a nice like girthy bite to it. Haley says the Caesar salad and fries combo slap every time. And Holly likes that one too. Um, Elise says tonight's early bird girl dinner was honey nut Cheerios and a slice of chocolate cake. Um, I've always been known to make string cheese sticks, princess or Paw Patrol packages only in this house, a stack of Ritz crackers and pepperoni into an adult lunchable. Love an adult lunchable. Yes. Yep. Um, and Ray Bowman says a couple scoops of peanut butter to then to start. See, that's like another great one. Just yep. this is not part of the meal. This is just no. something to, yeah. Uh, and While then a bag I'm of cooking my girl dinner, right? Exactly. While I'm plating it, so while you're while the microwave is running, yes. you're eating something and staring at. Obviously, it. obviously. Um, let's see. We also have butter noodles. This is from Annalise. Leftover Starbucks watered down, rotisserie chicken eaten with my hands, dill pickles, Diet Coke, and no shame. I love that. Yep. Uh, Joanne says, craft dinner sometimes with peas. I love adding peas to pasta. It's so good. Uh, oh. Makes it healthy. Or Taco Bell fire sauce for a little kick on that craft dinner. Ta- How about just Taco Bell? Like if you There's really only one at, the, the only one yourself. in Calgary is at the airport. I think you've probably you have Taco John's. Food. I've just tried that for the first time. No, but that's one of the lowest rated um, foods ever on Doughboys. Yeah, not that great. They it's, went to it's a not Taco city. Bell. Oh no, no, no! They went to some city because, like, whenever they go to a city, the um, every like the listeners will request where to go, and everyone said Taco John's, and like it was very clear that everyone was requesting that like as a joke to be like, oh. we want you to go and review this disgusting restaurant. <laughs> Yeah, there's something something called like potato or something mm-hmm. Olays. Yes, it's yep. just hash browns. Yeah, there's no additional flavor to it. It's a hash brown crown. Very disappointing. All right, I have a whole bunch more, but uh, you okay. jump in whenever, whatever you yeah. got. Okay. Um, okay. Julia says homemade macaroni and cheese made with Velveeta and a side of stewed tomatoes. That sounds so healthy. That, that's. It sounds what what's healthy? Well, I guess the tomatoes make it healthy. Homemade but that actually macaroni sounds, and cheese. Well, oh, with Velveeta. With Velveeta. Oh, okay, okay, I see what she's saying. Kelly Winkler just says mashed potatoes. Done. That could be really good, like some good mashed potatoes and Alexis cheese. That's it. That's the dinner. Cheese. Yep. Cheese. Yum. That is the dinner. Yum. Um, Megan has a whole system here. I chomp on a sweet pickle while I get a spoon of peanut butter and I then drink a few this. swigs of chocolate. Fair life. I love that. It's a little Yum. Choppy. By then, I've thought of something else I can grab, like crackers or a piece of bread. That's another great girl dinner. Just while you're walking from the fridge to maybe your air fryer, grab a piece of piece of fresh bread with a uh, butter on it. Oh God, See fresh that? bread with butter. Oh, um, we made pulled pork sandwiches, and we got mm-hmm. uh, the other day, and it was like a. I don't know, like the little clearance. We always like shop like the clearance shit at the grocery store. Uh huh. Um, and there was a 24 pack of Hawaiian, like the Hawaiian bread little buns, like the mini oh, mini oh buns. yeah. <sighs> Those. I mean, are I probably so good. had like four of them. We just like opened them up, put butter. Oh my god! There's like, this really good thing that I made ugh. for uh, just when Justine and Carling and my mom came over to watch Sister Wives last year. I made this, but it was you cut the whole thing of Hawaiian rolls in half, and then you put okay. Swiss cheese and ham, and then Swiss. I've cheese seen and ham. that. And then you then you mix um like garlic, so much butter over top with like garlic and oregano, and then you just like cook that, and they just fucking mm. pull apart. It's disgusting and so. Good. Hawaiian bread is like, oh my God, so fucking delicious. Uh, Amy says tuna salad, crackers, pretzels, cottage cheese with peach slices. That seems <sighs> very girl dinner. That is very girl dinner because it's all over the place. I haven't had tuna salad in a long time, like a tuna salad sandwich. That sounds delicious. I'm right very now. into tuna. Oh, you know what I'll do is I'll make, I'll take tuna, put the mayo and everything in it. Put one slice of Swiss cheese. I love Swiss cheese. They'll put it in the microwave with the cover on. Melt Ooh. that down, put half of that on bread and eat that as a sandwich. And then I just take crackers and scoop out the rest of it. Oh. And it's just this globby disgust. Tuna. Oh, really? You've never like yeah. melted cheese over tuna? No. 
Oh, it's no. a game changer. It's good. Really? Okay. Like a tuna melt. Mm. Yeah, well, exactly. Okay. A huge bowl of, bowl of popcorn and a hunk of cheese. Holly, love it. Perfect. Uh, Jenna says, butter and saltines, Velveeta and yellow mustard sandwich, extremely white, nutritionally void bread only, summer sausage and cheese, bridge mix, anything pickled and olives, and buffalo wings. Mm, that sounds good. A charcuterie cup from Julie with deli chicken, pepper jack cheese, mustard mayo, and eat it with a fork. Oh, that's that healthy, though. That sounds like though. something you would love. Mm, yeah, I think you had mayo, too, I'm liking. And the mustard. I love mustard. Beth says, I love a good old um, owl, owl bowl, probably. I love a good old bowl of cottage cheese to dip Ritz crackers in it. Sometimes I add a pickle, too. That sounds awesome. Oh. I feel like you wouldn't like that. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I like I like cottage cheese. Oddly enough, I like large curd cottage cheese, not the small. Me too. With lots of pepper. I, I like it kind just of like really milky too, like just like soupy. Oh, okay. Beaker face, frozen ravioli boiled up, a pot, and then doused with a very generous serving of, okay, Rayo's or Rao's, however you pronounce it, marinara. That sounds good. I'm not even a big ravioli person, but that sounds delicious. Yeah, and I think and that is that's the best sauce. I think that's everything. Do you have any more that you see? Uh, I think we got them all. I mean, this is probably Girl Dinner Part One of several parts, but well, I'm sure we'll I'm check already in thinking about what I want to make for girl lunch right now. <laughs> I have to record like, with Jonah. I'm thinking, like, what do I have? Shit. Oh, I don't know. Girl, the whole thing with girl dinners store. is that you're scrounging. You're not yes. preparing for girl dinner, really. Well, you can but think you, it up in your mind. Like all day yeah. you can just like fantasize about it. But it That's the best like when you know you have something at home and you're like, oh, I fucking can't wait. It's yeah, and go it's down. And it's the time, like the less time it takes to get that from like in your mouth, like while preparing it, that's what yeah. makes it a girl dinner. Oh, yeah. and oh, and uh, Nick did send me his girl dinner. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, well, Joan said he, he didn't have any. Well, Joan never even gave me one because he's like, every dinner is a girl dinner. <laughs> um, but Nick said, um, um, he goes, if I'm like stoned and want to be gross, th I mean, this is very childish. It's going to be like tempeh with like. <laughs> no, 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 no. Super... I okay. lived with Nick for like, oh, a couple years, a year, about a year, because we also lived together during Music Man and we have eaten some girl dinners together. Okay. One of my favorite moments with Nick is we were standing and he was just eating like leftover mashed potatoes from some buffet that we had for like Easter. It was like two in the morning. We're all stoned and drunk. And like, he's just kind of eating this and we're talking. And then he just, he, he leans the bowl over to me and he goes i just ate this whole fucking thing and like both of us didn't even know it. and it was like the leftovers for the whole party <laughs> he just didn't even he's like i just ate this whole thing um that's when i knew we'd be best friends um because if i'm stoned Aww. and want to be gross i'll put some shredded cheese on a tortilla and microwave it but then i'll oh. crumble tostito scoops on it and roll it up <gasps> dipped in salsa and that crunch. oh look at you I kind of like that sort of like that greasy, corny crunch in there. Oh God, I'm at Fritos even. Yeah, adding I that kind on of there. Like that combo with the salsa. And then he said, um, "And cereal. I'm a sucker for a oh, good yeah. bowl of cereal." But then he writes, yep. "There's a cereal at Aldi called Bran Flakes, and I love them." <laughs> like, oh, Bran Flakes, but I feel like it's probably a particular Aldi Bran Flakes. What do you think? Daphne's girl dinner. I be. asked her, doesn't have one, and I knew. Oh, that would damn be it! Dinner. I'm like, there's no way Daphne's ever eat. It. Never even thought about a girl dinner. She's because she has like full she's courses. Time. Yep, she's not eating she a girl like her dinner. Salad, which informs you very much everything about dessert. Daphne's personality and how my food was growing up. Is just girl dinners is not a. That's why it's so exciting to have yes. a girl dinner. Is that you're like, breaking the rules to be eating? Yeah. Uh -huh. No one knows. No one knows. Except now we me. all know. Let's normalize talking about our girl dinners, Jody. Yeah. It's just dinner. It's just dinner. But also no one else can be around. No. Get out. Like, Do you need something in the kitchen right now that I can help you bye. with? Bye. Get bye. Out. Yeah. Leave this whole floor, please. Yeah. So we'll be back next week with girl dinner. And who the fuck knows what we're going to talk about? Because it's fucking girl dinner. Yeah, we'll think of it on the fly if we have to. Um, yeah. You're all adults, and join us next week for... Girl dinner. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. Girl dinner. Oh, girl dinner.